President Trump may be going back to his political roots in January 2015 when his campaign was still such a joke to pretty much everybody. Corey Lewandowski agreed to be his campaign manager. He didn't get Trump to the finish line. He got him to the nomination, though. Now, rumors are swirling that Trump wants to bring Lewandowski back to the White House as part of a special crisis management team. Are the rumors true? Corey Lewandowski joins us tonight to confirm or deny. Corey, are you going back to the White House? Tucker, the only time I go to the White House is as a guest. You know that, just as a visitor. I like to bring my family sometimes. That's about it. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't consider going back to work as a crisis manager as this investigation proceeds? Well, let me be very clear, and I think everyone knows this. My loyalty is to the president and to make sure that his agenda, which he ran on, which is jobs, homeland security, building a wall, uh, making sure people are back to work, cutting taxes for the American working class, or is, is moving forward. And if that means I can help the president by doing that, of course, it would be a privilege. But let me be clear. I've got a great life. I love doing what I'm doing. If I can help the president from the outside, I can be very, very helpful from the outside, maybe much more so than even on the inside. If you went inside, what would you do? What, is, what does crisis management mean in an investigation like this? You know, honestly, I don't know. And to be clear, you know, I haven't had any conversations about this. So what's amazing is, you know, there's one media outlet which you know, we, we like to qualify as fake news. It's called Politico. They write a story and all of a sudden everybody picks up on it and says, wow, it's factual. And what's amazing to me was I was on an airplane coming back from Miami on Monday. The plane lands, the story breaks, and all of a sudden I get a bunch of phone calls that says, hey, heard you have a job at the White House, which nobody told me or anybody else I had been associated with. So, you know, don't believe everything you read in the fake news. Oh, I, I would never defend Politico. It's a, it's a ridiculous little website. But a lot of people in the White House talk to Politico, I've noticed. That is real. They're getting a lot of calls from staff, both career people and appointees, from within the building. And so that's kind of the larger question. Why all these leaks? I've never seen this many leaks in any administration since I've been here. Well, Tucker, it's very clear to me, and what we've seen is we saw a report, and I don't know if it's actually uh, accurate or not, but we saw that there are three staffers who have been identified by a news outlet that have leaked classified information. If that, has been ha if that happened, uh, those people should be held to the highest standards of the law accountable, which is a felony. If there are additional leaks that are taking place, uh, I would recommend that the staff of the White House dig in as hard as they can to find out who those leaks are and immediately and permanently remove those people, not just from the White House, but from any government agency that they are working for, and move them out as quickly as possible. There is a deep state that wants to see the president not accomplish his agenda. They did not support him when he ran. They do not support him as the president, and they should not be working in this administration. And, and they're working day and night to undermine the president. So uh, two and a half hours ago, the New York Times uh, put a story on its website saying that intelligence services picked up conversations between Russian intelligence officials talking about how to suborn, how to influence uh, the Trump campaign. Now, there's no suggestion in the piece that the Trump campaign cooperated with this or became agents of Russia, but this is clearly an attempt by career intel officers to hurt the White House. That's a big deal. That doesn't happen a lot in normal administration. So what is being done to, st to stop this? This will paralyze the administration if it goes on. Well, that's right. And look, I don't think, uh, you know, the intelligence community, they have traditionally been nonpartisan. But let me be clear. We see time and time and time again now that the president is having private conversations that very few people have access to, that in many cases are classified. The Judge Report had a story today that uh, the classified information was leaked again by a president's conversation with another world leader. That yeah. is being done from the intelligence community solely to discredit this president. They don't want to see him be successful. They are doing so not just at the detriment of the president, but at the detriment of the entire country. These people need to be held accountable. They need to be found out who they are. They need to be removed immediately. And if they have committed a crime, they need to be prosecuted for that crime. So there's going to be, or there already is, in fact, a, a criminal investigation underway, and we're not exactly sure who the targets are, but presumably everyone who works over there and anyone in the orbit. What's going to happen if the people conducting that investigation start leaking what they find during the course of it? Well, again, you, you erode, you completely erode the public trust. And, you know, no matter what takes place, there are things that should be uh, brought out to the public in the interests of full disclosure and there are things that should be done behind the scenes to make sure that they aren't leaked and what we've seen in this administration unlike in the Obama administration or the Bush administration before him is the leaks from within the organization I think what has to be done is 
The president has about 4,000 presidential appointments. I think the staff needs to work as due diligence as quickly as possible to make sure his appointees are being put in place. We have seen time and time again the holdovers. We saw at the Department of Education just yesterday a holdover quit as opposed to testifying before the committee. We saw that Sally Yates refused to implement a direct order of the president and was removed from her job. These people who served under the Obama administration will do anything they can to destroy this president. They need to be removed and they need to be brought in. They, new people need to be brought in who are loyal to the president and moreover loyal to the country. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, like yesterday, and I, we, I, we don't have time to ask why that hasn't been done, uh, but it is the question that hangs in the air. Corey Lewandowski, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Thank you.